Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sriramaya, Security Engineering Escalation Group, Sonic Wall. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure dynamic route based VPN using OSPF between Sonic Wall UTM appliances. These are the configuration steps create VPN policies in each Sonic Wall, create VPN tunnel interfaces in each Sonic Wall, configure OSPF in tunnel interfaces. Create access rules. Test the configuration. This is the network setup we follow for this video. We have an NSA 4500 on one side. Let's call it Site A. It has two network segments. One of them is configured in the LAN zone and connected to the X0 interface. And the other is in the DMZ zone behind the X2 interface. And here we have an NSA 220 wireless on the other side. Let's call it Site B. It has one network in the LAN zone behind the X0 interface. We will create a site-to-site -site VPN between these two sites. Then we will create a tunnel interface on each Sonic wall and configure OSPF on each. Once the VPN tunnel is up, each site must learn route from the other. I am logged into the management interface of the site A Sonic wall and I am on the VPN settings page. Here click on add. Set policy type to tunnel interface. Set authentication method to pre-shared secret. Enter a name for this policy, for example, VPN to site B. In the primary gateway name, enter the WAN IP of the site B sonic wall. Under shared secret, enter a pre-shared secret. We must enter the same secret in the site B sonic wall. In the proposals tab, we keep the default settings. Under the advanced tab, Uncheck the Keep Alive checkbox. Click on OK. Next, go to the Network Interfaces page to create a tunnel interface. Here, from the Add Interface Type drop-down, select Tunnel Interface. Select the VPN policy we just created. Under IP Address, enter an IP address from a new subnet. Let us use 1.1.1.1. Keep the net mask as it is and click on OK. Now, go to the Routing page to configure OSPF on this interface. Change routing method to advanced routing. We can see the tunnel interface we just created listed here. Click on configure under the tunnel interface. Set OSPF V2 to enabled. You could change the settings as per your network topology. For this video, we mostly go with the default settings. Make sure the OSPF router ID is a unique IP address across both site A and site B. By default, it is set to 10.0.0.1 and we will use that. Redistribute static routes. Advertise any static routes configured in this sonic wall. Redistribute connected networks will advertise routes of directly connected devices. And redistribute remote VPN networks will advertise VPN routes. For this video, let us enable the checkbox under redistribute static routes and connected networks. Click on OK. You can see there is a red LED alongside the tunnel interface. It will turn green once neighborship is formed. Next, let us configure the Site B Sonic Wall. In the Site B Sonic Wall's VPN page, click on Add. We set the same parameters as in the Site A VPN policy. Set policy type to tunnel interface and authentication method to pre-shared secret. In the primary gateway name, enter the WAN IP of the Site A Sonic Wall. Under Shared Secret, enter the same secret we set in the Site A Sonic Wall. We don't change anything in the Proposals tab. Under the Advanced tab, enable Keep Alive. Click on OK. On the Network Interfaces page, create a tunnel interface. Select the VPN policy we just created. Under IP Address, let us use 1.1.1.2 and uh, click on OK. On the routing page, change routing mode to advanced routing and uh, click on configure under the tunnel interface. Set OSPF V2 to enabled. Under OSPF router ID, enter 10.0.0.2. Enable redistribute static routes and uh, connected networks. Click on OK. You can see that the VPN tunnel is up and OSPF neighborship has been formed. You can see that the Site A Sonic Wall has dynamically learned the route of the Site B X0 subnet. 
and these are the routes of the site A sonic walls X0 and X2 subnet in the site B sonic walls routing table. Although the routes have been learned by both sides, we won't be able to pass traffic from one side to the other. For example, from a host behind the site A sonic wall, if I try to ping an IP of the site B network, it will fail. To be able to pass traffic, we must create access rules to allow traffic. In the site A sonic wall, I have created an address object of the site B sonic walls X0 subnet. Go to the firewall access rules page. Change the view to LAN to VPN. Click on add. Set source and destination port to any. Set the source IP to X0 subnet and the destination IP to the address object of the site B sonic walls X0 subnet. Click on OK. Let us create a similar rule from the DMZ zone. Set the source to X2 subnet and the destination to site B network. Let us now create inbound rules from the VPN to the LAN and DMZ zones. Change the view to VPN to LAN. Set the source IP to the address object of the site B network and the destination to the X0 subnet. Change to the VPN to DMZ page. Here, set the source as the site B network and the destination to the X2 subnet. Let us now create rules in the site B sonic wall. In the site B sonic wall, I have created an address group called site A network and added address objects of the site A X0 and X2 subnets to it. In the LAN to VPN page, click on add. Set source as X0 subnet and destination to the address group site A network. Change to the VPN to LAN page. Here, set source to site A network and destination to X0 subnet. Let us now test whether we can pass traffic between the sites. I have a ping going from a host behind the site B sonic wall to a host behind site A. And here I am pinging a site B host from a site A PC. And you can see I am getting replies from both sites. This concludes this video on how to configure dynamic route based VPN using OSPF between sonic wall UTM appliances.